for those who don't know what a live food diet is, um, can you just briefly explain that? Okay, a live food diet, and the way I'm talking about it, is plant-based only, or people will call it vegan. No meat, fish, uh, chicken, or dairy, or eggs. People think eggs are all about protein, but the fact is with diabetes, one egg a week will increase your rate of diabetes by 76%. Two eggs per week will double your rate of diabetes. Eggs are a big deal here. It's, it's, that's a long story, and I don't want to get off track onto it. So those are things we don't have. Well, what do we have left for live food? Mostly grains you have to cook, and then they also convert to sugar. So initially, I call it phase one. Now phase one, 1 1.5, and phase two. So at phase one, which is the diet for diabetes, the diet for cancer, we're doing nuts and seeds, sea vegetables, and sprouts, which is a big part of the diet, and pretty much all the vegetables you want, but not overdoing it in beets and carrots. They're a little bit more glycemic. And that's it. Then once you're healed from that, then you can add things like lentils and beans, things like that. So that's, that's basically the diet. And many we have many, many recipes. I mean, really, it's actually, it sounds a little contracted, but actually, when you get into it, it's it's unlimited amount of stuff. It's infinite, and you can make it very delicious. Yeah, I want you know people to tuning in to know that, um, like I, my wife and I and our daughter, we were on a hundred percent you know raw living live food diet for for about a year, very strict, um, hundred percent organic as well. And and you know the recipe books that you have great recipes in your books. Um, there are so many recipes out there with a dehydrator, dehydrator and a blender. Right, you can make pizzas and you can make you know pastas and you can make whatever you want from nuts and seeds and vegetables and fruits and stuff that tastes really delicious but is incredibly healthy it's it's you have to learn to cook in a new way <laughs> if you want to be creative right but it doesn't the live food diet for those who might be a little bit scared right now is not you can only eat a carrot and a, you know a cabbage walking around every day i mean it's one way to do it but it's not the way you have to do it so you can have a good time doing it. When I did the initial recipes uh, in, in 1986 um, for, for Rainbow Green Life Food Cuisine, uh, I mean, um, the Rainbow Diet, I wouldn't put a recipe in that took me more than 10 minutes to do. And I did that with Conscious Eating in 1990. That was the first edition of the book. No recipes that took me more than 10 minutes. And, you know, I'm not a chef necessarily, but there's lots of good things. And it's really not that hard. It does really help to get some training. And at this point, there's a lot of people around who are training people on how to prepare their food. Someone starting um, down this path, what, which book of yours would you recommend with, with, the, with those recipes? The, the Rainbow Diet, would you suggest people start there? The two diets, because we're thinking cancer prevention. I would definitely use the diabetes uh, recipes. So the cure that would be more yeah. like glycemic. So there is a cure for diabetes, addition two. Addition two, um, okay. Good. And the other one, conscious eating has a lot of good recipes, but the Rainbow Green Life Food Cuisine is another one. So they all have different sets of recipes in them. Obviously, some overlaps. But they, probably in terms of the end of cancer, we want to look towards the uh, there's diabetes. Thank you for listening to this short clip from the Nathan Crane podcast. Please share this on social media. And to listen to the full podcast, visit NathanCrane.com.